Good morning, everyone. Welcome on this uh, early morning to Pray 21. We are here to, uh, to worship the Lord and to call upon His name. Our focus today is physical miracles, and so we're going to be uh, we're going to be praying for some physical healing here in a little bit. But first, we want to give him the worship and the praise that he deserves. So would you stand with us today? Father, we're so grateful to be here, and um, we're thankful for your love for us. We, we know that you are the God of all creation, and you spoke this universe into existence. We know that nothing is impossible for you, including saving us from our sins. And so we give you praise and worship for that today. And as we gather here now, God, we ask for your presence. We need your spirit today. Um, And so we ask for your spirit to be in this place. We ask for your your manifest presence, your revealed presence to be here with us this morning as we worship you and as we call upon your name. So we give this time of worship to you in Jesus' name. Amen.
God, we thank you for the freedom that we have in you today, freedom from our sin, freedom from everything that binds us. We have freedom in your name. Your word gives us the authority as your followers to proclaim freedom for those who are captive. So this morning, we proclaim in Jesus' name, freedom for ourselves and for our loved ones 
who are enslaved today by sin or by addiction or whatever it is that might be enslaving them. We proclaim freedom in Jesus' name. We love you, God, and we trust you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Matthew 14, 14 says simply this. When Jesus landed, he saw a large crowd, and he had compassion on them, and he healed their sick. He had compassion on them, and he healed their sick. If you wonder if God cares about our physical needs and the the needs of our physical bodies, you don't need to look any further than that simple, short little verse. He had compassion on them, and he healed their sick. Back in, excuse me, spring of 2001, uh, my seven-month-old niece named Delaney, um, she was, it was her first day in a walker, her, her little walker, and uh, my brother and his family were staying with some friends of theirs for a while while they built their house, and so the, you know, the house was, was crazy, as you can imagine, with two families occupying this space, and um, somebody was, had, been, had been cooking, had been frying something on the counter with a fry daddy, I don't know if you Know those? Remember the little pot that you plug in and you can deep fry stuff in it, you know, good, healthy deep frying. And so somebody had been using this, and, and make a long story short, um, on this first day in her walker, my seven-month-old niece managed to pull this fry daddy off the counter, and that hot, that boiling hot grease, um, she, it burned her chin and much of her torso and her arm, her hands, she got some on her legs. And none of the medical professionals who saw her in that first 24 to 48 hours really, really gave any hope of her making it. Um, But people began to pray. And this was before social media, and this was before texting, and so the way that you got word out quickly is you emailed everybody that you knew, and then they emailed, you know, the email forwards, remember those? And literally within a day or two, there were people all over the world, literally, who were praying for this little girl. And uh, this past week, or this past fall, um, that's a picture of her on her 17th birthday. Um, She is a beautiful young lady. She's an awesome kid. And God heard those prayers for physical healing, and he touched her. And today, she is an amazing, amazing young lady who loves Jesus and has told her parents that she would not change a second of her life because all of that has helped make her who she is today. God has done an amazing thing in her life. She still has some scarring. She has had lots of surgeries. She'll probably have more. But God has done an incredible thing, not just in her body, but in her heart. You see, God cares about our physical well-being. And for that reason, we can call on him in confidence. When, 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 we have, um, when we have physical needs or when our loved ones are in need of physical healing, we can call on the name of the Lord and we can do so in confidence knowing that he does care. And so as we direct our attention this morning to, to miracles of physical healing, um, I want to make sure that we're praying for those for the right reasons. Because, yes, God cares about our, our, our physical comfort and our personal happiness. Yes, He cares about those things. But ultimately, the reason we pray for those things is so that we and our loved ones can have a testimony on our lips of what our God can do. In other words, the ultimate purpose for physical miracles isn't just physical comfort. It's so that we can have a platform from which to point people to Jesus. 
So as we pray for these requests, I know a lot of the requests that we have on these altars today are requests for physical healing. Let's remember why we pray, and let's pray for for physical miracles, but let's also pray that God will use those miracles to point people to Him, especially people who know nothing about His love and His power and His truth. Let's pray that the physical miracles that we're asking God for, let's pray that He will use those to point people to Him and to show people His power and His glory and His love. Let's pray those prayers this morning. So I'm going to invite you up um, as we have uh, every day of this. If you're joining us online for the first time uh, this morning, uh, your screen is going to go to the screen that's behind me, and we invite you to pray uh, where you are. And at 635, we'll go back to the live feed, and we're going to pray together, and we will worship together one more time. But go ahead and come up and, and take a prayer card or two or three, and let's go to the Lord in prayer. ask, uh, as we move into our corporate prayer time, um, I want to ask Caleb if you would come up here and join me. Um, Caleb has um, found out recently that um, he's, you know, unless God intervenes, um, he he's going blind. It's already affected his his, uh, his ability to work, which has a trickle-down effect to finances and all of the things that come from that. And, and Caleb is asking and, and believing God for a miracle. And so uh, I'd like for us to gather around him today. I asked him if it was, uh, this was okay, and he said yes. And uh, I would like for us to call down heaven this morning and pray not just for a physical miracle, in Caleb's eyesight, but pray for a testimony on his lips of the power and love of God. Father, we lift up Caleb to you today. I thank you for him. I thank you for the love that you have for him. I know that you created him and you have a plan for his life. I know that you died on the cross for his sins. And I thank you for that today. I thank you for his faith in you and for his belief that you are the God of miracles, that you are the God of all power. And we appeal to you today in Jesus' name to heal his eyes. Lord, I pray that you would fill him with your spirit from the bottom of his toes to the top of his head and that you would touch his eyesight in a way that only you can do. God, I pray that that six months from now, that a year from now, he would be having a conversation with somebody and he would be able to say, if God isn't real, then explain me. Explain my eyesight. And I pray that through him, he could tell people of your power and your love and that he would have an amazing testimony that he can use to point people to you. I pray that somebody who doesn't know you will come to know you will come to see your power and your truth and your love because of what you're going to do in Caleb's body, in his eyes, and in his heart. So, Father, your word has, has given us the authority to say to mountains, be moved and be cast into the sea. And so we say to this mountain in front of Caleb, we say in Jesus' name, be cast into the sea today, God. We're not going to tell you how to do it. You are God and we are not, but we're asking, we are pleading on his behalf. Would you heal him in Jesus' precious name? Satan, be cast out in Jesus' name. You have no claim to Caleb. You don't, have, you don't even have any claim to his eyesight. This man is a child of God. God, he belongs to you. Would you heal him in Jesus' name? God, for all the other physical needs represented in this room, those that are written on cards, those that are not, you know every one of them. And I pray that in every situation, somebody would come to know you 
because of them. And we ask for your healing. We ask for miracles today, God. Not just for our own happiness and for our own comfort and really not even just so we'll have some cool stories to tell. We're asking for miracles today so that we will have testimonies that we can share with those who don't know you and that somebody will come to know you because of every single situation that is written on these cards. We trust you, God. We know you are the God of the universe. And all the power of the universe is in the breath of your mouth. We know that you can. We're asking that you will. In Jesus' name. We love you, God. And we will praise you no matter what. Whether you bring healing in these situations or not, we will praise you because, we des- because you deserve it. But we're trusting you for miracles. We're believing you for miracles. And we give you thanks ahead of time for doing what only you can do. Do what only you can get credit for, God. In Caleb's life and in the life of every one of these requests, do what only you can get credit for. We pray these things in Jesus. Precious, holy, powerful, Believe him, folks. Believe in the power of his name. Let's worship him with one more song. You know why? Just because he deserves it.
God, fill us with your presence today, we ask, as we go about our daily lives, as we go to work, as we go to school, fill us with your presence. I pray that that, may that be the prayer on our lips all day today. Your Holy Spirit is welcome here in our hearts and in our minds and in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. As you go about your day today, just stay in in an attitude of prayer today. And we, one thing we haven't said through this, if you're fasting through this, remember that whenever you're hungry or whenever you're craving, whatever it is that you're fasting, let that be a reminder to pray. Pray for physical healing today. Um, pray for Caleb today as you think about him. And let's, let's trust God and let's believe for a miracle of healing in his life and in the lives of our loved ones. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. Have a blessed day.